Hey yo, welcome back to the Absolute Power Channel. Now today's video will be discussing um, income tax, minimum wage, overtime, job agencies, and the current job market that we're in today. Uh, quick disclaimer before I get into this video, you know. Um, this video ain't for no necessarily no big ballers who's making $30,000 um, a month or anybody who's making like $20,000 an hour doing a show or anything like that. This is for the everyday working class citizen who's trying to get to those levels, you know. And it ain't necessarily easy for me to discuss my personal information, but, you know, I figure people will be a little bit more real and maybe, you know, share a little bit more advice and such like that when it comes to me opening up about myself but talking about the job agency i'm gonna get right into it right now um uh, my son just started school like in september anyway you know so i quit the job that i was working which was just trucking and you know um it was good amount of money it was a good amount of work but it wasn't gonna really work as far as because I needed a job that was in the evening so I could take my son to school in the morning or whatever you know what I mean so anyway now working for the agency obviously I got to deal with basically this income and I saved up some money so I'm good my car is paid for I'm good I ain't got to deal with all of that and everything but now compared to what I used to make to what I'm making right now, which is basically $515 a week, bro. I know it's messed up, it's sad, it's bad and shit like that, but I'm good though. Like I said, you know, all my stuff is paid for. I ain't really got like a big amount of expense in our budget well, so it's not an issue. Anyway, um, yeah, $515 a week with the agency, and I got hired on with the company maybe six or seven months um afterwards and come to find out with the income tax obviously the government see you see more money so they take more money that not that you're making more money but they see more money they take more money because you're getting paid bi-weekly now you know so i guess basically because of the four percent um vacation pay that you get and also the benefit which i never necessarily needed in the first place but hey you know you're just a number at a job bro they treat you like everybody else you you don't have a choice you don't have an option so anyway i could rant about income tax a little bit because i'm talking about it but yeah man i just feel as though on this sort of income i don't know why we're still paying income tax bro seriously why are we handing over our money to the government who are raking it in by the billions, if not the trillions, and we're giving out them the little meager mean that we have. It, it's ridiculous, man. One of the biggest service that I use, I, that I can think of, is probably the roadway. And um, I pay my gas, I pay my insurance, I pay my license and my registration, and the government tax all of those things. As far as I see it, that's good enough, man. I'm not trying to give the government no more of my money than I am already giving them, you know? But just so I could get through this video quickly, because I'm I'm not really doing a long video. I'm just going to move on to something else. So I'll rant about, like, income tax in the future for sure, because... I want to join any group that's going to ban and outlaw income tax. Screw those guys, bro. They don't deserve my money. You know how they waste money. They're always broke. And and they get, like I said, trillions of dollars by the year. And they make the law, but yet they never put themselves in a position where they could benefit. You know, it, it does, doesn't make sense to me. Um, yeah, so anyway, my boss came to me and talked to me about some overtime and I'm just like oh, my boss my supervisor you know and I'm just like honestly I'll talk to my family about it just to see if everything will kind of work out but in my mind I'm like nah man I don't want to do the overtime now because I'm just basically in a different mind frame where it's like I want to make alternative revenue streams not by working a job like if I work um, one hour extra for fifteen dollars i'm just getting fifteen dollars added to my paycheck and for anybody who's out there that's disagreeing if you, i i'm not knocking um overtime that's for the people who probably need it i don't need it like that you know what i mean because if i get that extra money and i could times that by the five days or the you know what i mean the 10 days but 
that that's that's still hours that I'm losing. I don't I'm not interested in um just giving my time for money. I want to find ways where I could generate money on my own. Like that's what I'm about. You know, I've already tried Shopify, I've tried um binary option trading and everything like that. I need a little bit more of um expert expertise and um, advice and such like that, but you know what I mean? It is what it is. That's what I'm looking forward to do with my time. I'm not looking to necessarily go work these silly ass job and just give all of my time and come home and not be able to, you know what I mean? Be there with my family and everything like that. So, yeah, man. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, too. You know, talking about these job agencies, you know how it is. Um, a lot of these companies right now, they're probably just hiring through the job agencies because there's a high turnover rate. And that's basically people coming to the job, not liking a job, and then just leaving. I got a few people at my job right now who have business degree, who have customer service degrees, and who also have marketing degrees. And all of these people are working these jobs right now because they actually can't find a job in their field. So it's kind of sad, bro, knowing that, <laughs> knowing that, you know what I mean? This is this is the current situation out there. I'm looking at these nice condos out there, and I'd love to get one of them for sure, you know, but you can't even afford a house or to even pay your rent with the, with, with this wage that's, that's out there. And I can't blame anybody. Like I said, you know, if I really wanted to, I could probably just get back into a job driving truck and make that good amount of money, and I'll be good. But it's still not easy, man. Anyway, bro, I ain't really got a lot of time to do this video, so... I'm going to get back at y'all in the next time, man. Subscribe to the channel, you understand? I'll be coming with more videos soon. Peace.